Hey, what's up, guys? Um, Kelly here. Um, this is the Bandicam tutorial. You guys have been waiting for us for so long, like in the hell of every videos that would talk about this tutorial coming up, and especially Cole's video. Damn, 80 likes. And mine, like over 40 likes when I asked for just 25, and Cole just asked for 40. Damn. <laughs> well, anyways, um, let's not waste any time. Um, on to the tutorial. Uh, let's start. Uh, I'm pretty sure I would hope that you guys already have it installed. Um, this bandy cam here. Um, let's start with general tab. You guys might have actually. Let's just forget this part. You guys will have tabs. You guys would should easily figure out to stop it. Right now, I'm using bandy cam to record my screen. Yes, you can do that. Just go to the target screen and change it to that to rectangle on screen. And put full screen. All right. Now, anyways, um, my output folder is just the Frabs folder. I, uh, I just did it just for whatever. I didn't, I didn't care. My video, um, change your hotkey to whatever, and go to settings. Um, this should be your primary sound. Check. Just try testing out the program and make sure this it records your sound fine if it does it mess around and see whichever is your regular sound and your second secondary sound device check whichever it is your secondary sound device so others that makes live commentary or will want to have your their reaction on whenever they record something uncheck to sound mixing what this does is whenever you put in that the file on Sony Vegas it will make two layer sound and your mic mic sound will have its own layer so then you could easily change your your volume of your mic if it's a too loud or too low logo from what I've been told you can add your own logo change the opacity or position which is pretty cool I, I have to try that one day um now on to the format settings oh uh Dang, that's not showing up. Crap. There's another tab that should be showing up. Um, I'm gonna switch over to Fraps now then, so you guys can see that. Um, be right back. Alright, uh, sorry about this. Um, I didn't really expect this. But anyways, back onto FPS. Um, you guys should have this FPS tab too, which didn't show up because I was using Bandicam. Dumb idea. But, um... You guys should have a set FPS limit. That that's not your actual like the uh, FPS for when you're recording how the outcome of your recorded file. This what this does is when you record your your when you record your FPS is locked at 60, especially when using fraps. But what and, and your computer is possible getting more. When you change this higher, you get more FPS and the game even feel a lot smoother. So you so yeah and for those that may have like bad monitor, they might get screen tearing when recording at 60 FPS locked, and they would want to set to have higher FPS, which and this helps especially for me. And next, go to video, go to settings. Um, I already talked to you guys about those. Um, go to format settings. You can customize your own resolution, your in-game resolution, and make sure to change your FPS to 60. Um. 60 seems to be the highest actually. Oh, actually, never mind. You can customize your own. 60 will be your FPS. Um, you can customize your resolution or pick from one of the lists. I picked this. Or you can record full size or half size. I just stick to this. Your codec will be MPEG 1. Um, you, you can, most of you guys can leave it at that. But for some of you that may have problems, pick XFIT and I will go into more detail about it about some issues that some people might have with XFIT itself also um and when you're using that make sure sure to have VBR checked out um I haven't really seen any reason not any reason not to actually yes I do it's a bit rate you change but I'd rather have the quality um I have quality at 100 I don't know anything about the bit rate MPG will be the first choice if you guys have any, have any issues with MPG 1 Arctic 1080p did so he chose XFIT and choose that but he had a codec issue and I found a fix I will go into detail about that for audio 
make sure to use PCM. MPEG doesn't seem to work, and I have not found a fix for that. So choose PCM, and it will be perfectly okay. All right, and now onto XFit. If you're going to use XFit codec, um, you guys might come up to this issue. Um, uh, let's see. Um. And um, when you record code with XVID, like I did, um, I recorded Minecraft. You guys should come up with this error, little error. Um, none of the files can be open. Now, um, the way to fix that, you guys should, would go. Well, I went to this site and went to that, and I came up to this. I will provide a download link in the description. Click here to download. Um, the site seems to be glitched for me. Let me reopen it. Click to download, and you should have the download. I already downloaded before. Let's see here. Yeah. And run the installer. Pick your language, whatever, whichever you want, as long as you understand it. Accept agreements. Yes, I picked that. I don't care. And just keep going through it. it. Should install. And after it's done installing, make sure to close down Vegas. And install. Read. Go ahead, see the readme if you wish. Um, restart Vegas, and then you should be all set. See, here's the your game sound file and your mic sound file, and that's it for the tutorial. Hope you guys like this tutorial, and thanks for watching. Goodbye.